Hey guys, Jordan here with the Geomike channel, and welcome to episode number 16 of our Tech It Light Let's Play series. And I just got done crafting a bunch of extremely expensive things, so yeah. Basically what I wanted to do today, and let me dig behind here while I'm talking. Okay, just got a bunch of the automated ME processing stuff going here. So, that's what we're going to do today. We're going to go back here, and I just broke my pickaxe. That's a good pickaxe, too. Let me see. Let me just make a quick pickaxe here. Uh, let's make it red. I like ruby. And, yeah, I'll enchant it with 20. Let's kill this guy. Alright, let's see. Now we need to break some of these here. Let's see if I can get that 20 in there. Yeah, 20. Okay, so we'll do... I need one more. Let's try this one. Of course, this one's doing 30. Oh, there's 21. Let's try this again. I want to do... 21, 21, 21. There it is. Okay. Keep your fingers crossed. And efficiency 3. I'll take it. Faster mining. Didn't cost me that much. Just 21 levels. That was weird. Alright, so let's go down here. Well, that's pretty quick mining. Let's see, where is this thing? There it is. Let's see. Okay, need some ME cable. ME cable. And once we get this going, this will definitely help us in the future with the cube. So I'm definitely going to try to just keep working my way up. I'm going to get the automated crafting system here going. And then I'll get some more machines for downstairs. Let me try... I got tungsten ore, which is completely useless. Alright, let's grab some of this ME cable here. And we'll run downstairs. Let's see. We'll just run this right over here like this. Straight over. And right into the back. Sounds good. Oh wait, this is going to be... It's going to be in the wall, so that'll actually be... That'll connect there. Okay. Cool. And... Now yeah, just leave that the way it is. That should be fine. Yeah, that actually won't hurt anything. Okay, we'll leave that the way it is then. So let's start building this. So I need those, 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 and those. Alright, so we need the molecular containment walls, like this. this. And this is just a typical setup. I think you can make this actually any size that you want. And in the cube, the one that I build is actually massive. So, yeah. And you'll, you guys will see it. Did I make enough? Yeah. Okay, cool. Perfect. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I made perfect amounts for all of it, so... So that's cool. 
But let's see, that just goes like that. And I think this block, this multi-block, looks pretty cool too. So I'm going to kind of just leave it the way it is. Okay. And we got the four for the front, but we need to fill the inside. And I usually use four pattern providers and four crafting CPUs. CPUs make it faster, and the pattern providers just allow you to craft. So... Let's just finish this off. It should form multi-block. Awesome, it did. I think that looks pretty cool, just sticking out of the wall like that. Probably would have been cool if I would have built it one more into the wall there, too. I think that actually would have been pretty cool. Hmm. I actually think I want to do that. I'm going to go ahead and move this over one, and I'll be right back, guys. All right, guys, welcome back. I think that looks a little nicer there. And I got the wiring all covered up and everything, so this should all be hooked up here. So I think you just use this double check, and it is. Awesome. 28 EU per tick use. Not too bad. I've actually got the link coming over here, so as you can see, it's not really hooked up to the geothermals anymore. I've got the wire running straight from the... Uh, the big room over there, over here. So that's that's why this is like this. Do I still have stuff coming in from the quarry? I think my quarry might be done, to be honest. Let me just check on these engines over here, just to make sure they're not about to explode or anything. Nah, they're fine. They're fine. Okay. So let's go back over here. And... Yep. It's pretty cool. So let's go up here. I think we need one more thing. The crafting... What is that called? Crafting... Let me open this. Alright, Emmy. I think it's Pattern Encoder? Yeah. Alright, so we need Iron Conversion Matrix and a Crafting Table. I think... I don't have a Conversion Matrix, but... Oh, here. I have two of these. That actually makes Conversion Matrix. So let's see. Emmy Pattern Encoder and... Let's see, conversion matrix. So those, redstone, quartz, and iron. Okay, cool. So redstone, I got lots of redstone now, yes. A quarry hit redstone, and I actually got a good amount of diamonds too. Let's see, 111. My iron's running a little low, but I have a ton of gold, so I can make a lot of iron. It's not a big deal. All right, so let's make a conversion matrix. You know what, let's make another one, because I know I'm going to need it, so let's just go in there. Cool. Alright, so let's do this. Okay. And conversion matrix. I think goes... Oh, wait, we need a crafting table. I know I have some wood. There we go. Okay, crafting table, and I know... Let's see then. Crafting table, conversion matrix, and iron. Let's see if this is right. I think that is right. Yep. Pattern encoder. Awesome. Let's just throw the rest of that in there. And I know I'm going to need a pattern to begin this. And I think I'm going to need two patterns just to get it all started with. So where's the patterns? M-E... Is it under pattern? M-E... Let's see. ME pattern. There it is. Encoded. Oh, that's an encoded pattern. A oh, blank pattern. There we go. Okay, so glowstone, quartz, iron, glass. Cool. Easy. I think I'm going to need some more glowstone eventually. Quartz. Iron across the bottom. And need some glass. Cool. And I'm going to need two of those, and then I'm going to need one of each of these. Because I'm going to go ahead and encode our first pattern. Go downstairs and do that. Okay, so first off, pattern encoder. Doesn't need power, so I'm just going to put it really anywhere. Uh, where should we put it? Where should we put it? Kind of looks like a crafting table, so I think it should go right there. Because, I don't know, I think crafting tables are cool and they floor like that, so that's cool. Let's just open that up. And let's see. 
So we're going to need that. Oh, I really didn't need to make two. That's okay. Um, glowstone. No, that's not right. Let's see. I knew glowstone was like this. Iron was like this. That quartz crystal was in the middle, I'm sure. And the glass. And that will make a blank pattern. So let's throw the blank pattern in there and encode that. Cool. And let's just toss that in here. Alright, and that will make blank patterns. So now we could go up here anytime we want. Type in blank pattern. And let's tell the thing to craft us three. And we should have three right away, because I've got three of those things in there. Awesome. So... I'm going to encode a couple key patterns here that I use a lot. And I'll be right back, guys. Hey guys, and welcome back. Um, I just finished up... I wonder if this is low. No, we're good. Alright, anyway, I just finished up uh, putting a lot of crafting things in here. Just some regular stuff. And I think I'm going to go ahead and get started on our auto crafting too. Um, auto smelting, I meant. Because um, this isn't really where I want the auto smelting to be. I want it to be downstairs, and I want it to be with pulverizers and stuff. So that I'm going to do right now, actually. And I'm going to need power. Too, so I know I think I want to do it like this actually have two machines there okay so yeah we're gonna do it like that and I think this is gonna be a two-part episode because we're almost done with this episode so I'll probably come back next episode and finish up the auto crafting and smelting set and then we should be good it everything will be able to automatically I did set up a wireless access point by the way um, so that's what this is here, wireless access terminal. There's the access point downstairs. So and this will just, I have a lot of nickelite. <laughs> so this will just, uh, you know, it just helps me a little bit. So if I'm here and I want to grab my stuff, and, and I just set it up because really I was like setting this all up and then I kept having to run upstairs, run back downstairs. So this I could just grab all my stuff from right here. So that's awesome. So let's see what I need to do. Okay. So, I think I need to grab, let's open all this up again, let's type in, I need a pulverizer, so I'm going to need some reception coils, let me get a pulverizer, and let's see, pulverizer powered furnace, I'm going to need two of those each, just to kind of handle the load. Alright, I will be right back guys. Alright guys, and welcome back. Um, I decided to go ahead and just go with the induction furnace and rotary macerator. I just made up some new ones here, and um, I added them to the AE system too. So, Oh, I broke this because I'm going to need... I just remember that this is HV power coming in here, straight from an MFSU. So I'm definitely going to need uh, to step that down. But let me go ahead and... Let's see, rotary macerator and induction furnace right there. And I'm going to go ahead and set up the other things there, but I need a medium. What's that called? Medium voltage. Uh, yeah, I know what that's called. That thing. You know, that thing. I know I need some of these, so let me grab some of those. And I'll just make them all. Why not? Alright, so grab these. And what is it, just this one? Yeah, MV Transformer, that's what it's called. Now hopefully both of these take MV. I believe they do, but I don't know. I guess we'll see a big explosion if not. Yep. Okay, macerator does not take medium voltage. It's nice, I know. Alright, so we're going to have to step that down again. And I'm going to have to make another one of those. So, 
I will be right back, guys. Actually, guys, I'm going to go ahead and uh, end off the episode here. Looks like we are about th at the time. So for next episode, I'm going to go ahead and have this stuff finished up here. Um, I think I could just break that with that. Probably not. No, of course I lost that. But that's okay, I didn't lose much. So anyway, guys, I'm... So when we come back, I'm going to go ahead and finish up all this, and we will have an automatic smelting and processing thing. And I think the episode after that, I think we're going to start working on our power suit. So I think sounds pretty awesome, guys. So thanks for watching. If you, uh, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to see more. Feel free to leave a comment below with any tips, tricks, or questions that you may have. And as always, see ya! <laughs>